Hello everybody, and today I'm going to do a tactical video about the Necron Deathmark. Okay, there's a few t little tricks and tips to show you on these. Um, um, from 7th edition, right, in my opinion, these are one of the strongest units right now in, my, in our codex. People just don't seem to realise how powerful that Mortal Wound on 6 actually is. Okay, let's go over a few ta um, tips and tricks on these, and how to use them effectively in 8th edition. Right, number one. These have the ability to deep strike, or whatever you call it the, in this edition. They can come in 9 inches away and shoot in rapid fire range. Another good thing they have is when your opponent deep strikes, you can deep strike the, then and shoot them. And you'll always be in rapid fire range, which is awesome. But let's, take, let's um, start from scratch. Number one, what I would recommend is, if you got the points, I would recommend you have 10 in your deployment area. I do this sometimes when I don't take any troop choices, I just go full elite and full heavy. And then this way I have the ability to shoot characters turn one, which is very effective. Okay. Okay, so that's basic strategy. Try and get them all in cover if you want to keep some in your deployment area. And not only that, right, if you keep in your deployment area, you're normally forced to take one or two HQs anyway for the detachments. So take an Overlord, okay, and also take a Crypt Deck, because the fire been run with 4 plus reanimations available. Right, what you want to do is obviously, my will be done the Snipers from the Overlord. Okay, so my will be done these, and you get 24 inch range. So turn 2, wherever your opponent in your comes over across the border will get shot to death with these. These are also very good against tanks, because they're wounded on 6, like, or 5, like most of the guns anyway. But the are mortal wounds on top. And the Cryptek is just there to give them the next uh, fight up in the run. Okay, that's actually number one. Half time in deployment area, turn one, hitting on twos, slight with the characters that come across the board. Anything like a free up in the run, perfect. On sixes, you get nothing. Off it goes, just wipe them off the board. Another good trick is if you, you can combo this with a uh, Triarch Stalker, but if you do that, you cannot hit characters with Triarch Stalkers, you can't be more ones. But if your opponent's got a lot of elite choices with really hard in run stage you can't get past, a Triarch Stalker would be good. You hit them, then you hit them on twos, you're only ones, and six is um, immortal wounds on wounding, so it's, per it's really good combo that is. So that's one way. Let's go into the combo that everybody uses. That could be anything. It could be a drop pod, it could be teleporting terminals, whatever. Okay, another good trick is take these and use them to five now. A lot of people take them and use them to ten because of the reanimation. But don't rely on reanimation, because it's not that good in this edition, okay? A good technique, say if your opponent's got like, say, five or six drop pods or whatever they use, teleport units. If you put these in the correct distance away, and you space them out, like so. Okay, it makes it so much harder for your opponent to deep strike troops into your deployment area. So you know, say you say you got like six or seven drop pods, they're going to come all the others and come and wipe you out. You just go, bang, and you're like, Boom, 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 boom. Or even if you go to the side like so, and all of a sudden his nine inch um, deep strike become a lot harder because he cannot put the other one anywhere around here. So the other one is forced to go over here instead of there. So as you can see, the power of just five guys, they obviously will die in their turn, but five guys just made this entire deep strike army useless basically. And obviously if you've got more than one unit to spare, which I would recommend, you do. do him, use them for that, not just to shoot what comes in. Use them to make him a second deep strike unit go way further than where it needs to be. That is the key to winning with death marks, is annoyance. Take a ball control with the deep strikes, and then you get to shoot them anyway, which is really cool. So that way, if you've got like four or five deep striking units, boom, they're pretty useless, which is awesome. Okay, another good way I'd like to use these. Okay, is if I get the opportunity, it all depends on opportunity. Just say over there, right? Like that bass in there. It's an objective marker on there. So it's an objective marker on there, okay? So what I would try and do, I would try and shoot that with my heavy destroyers or whoever's in, whoever's in there, try and kill them off the top of that. Okay, and if I can wipe out the unit, I would try. I wouldn't mind, I would easily spend a thousand, say two thousand points shooting the unit on top of there, depending on what it is and what army they got. Now try then to deep strike these next turn on there. Like so. 
It's a hundred. It's hundred. Um, it's a hundred points. Yeah, hundred points for five. So you just got a two plus cover. A two plus save gives you in cover, and you have an objective. Okay. So very careful of your opponent if they got the death marks. But if you got death marks, don't run them in units of ten. Right. If you want to run them in units in units of ten for that reanimation protocol, just be very wary that the opponent will shoot the crap out of them. And another good thing you can do with death marks is if you've got a Catacomb Command Badge and you've got destroyers, you can go up to say the board and you can deep strike them in to hold what you've taken with the destroyers. That's another good um, way to use them. So basically, the way I like to use them is I deep strike them to stop my opponent mass deep striking. That's really annoying for him and he really hates it. And use the ones in your deployment layer to shoot the characters or anything that's hard to shift. Like anything that's really tough on going run saves, use them for that. Use them to go grab the objectives on the side of the board, you shoot your opponent off. Or like even if there's a spare one, say over there. So that's a spare one. I would easily just chuck these over here, turn one. But make sure you get first blood if you do that, otherwise they'll get they'll just die and they'll get first blood. And don't forget what I said in the other videos, right? Over fifty percent of the objective cards are secure objectives, or defend objectives, or priority orders and stuff. So even if you don't need that objective there, and you can get a deep strike on it, do it. 100 points, and for all you know, you probably have it next turn, and you just make it that much harder. Because don't forget, right, just because you own that objective with death marks, if your opponent gets skew objective 1, like that one over there, and he has a deep striking unit, he can't just deep strike on and get a point easy. He has to deep, deep strike 9 inches away and risk a charge just to get that point off me. So that is very, that's a key of winning with them. Don't, them in, don't deep strike them in units of 10 because they will get wiped out. Okay, I've t done it many times. Unit of 10 is too juicy a target for your opponent. He will focus fire him down. And there's only 100 points for a point to stop your opponent from scoring, which is really good. So that's basically all the uh, uh, advice I can give you with death marks. The combo of the Triarch Stalker is really good, it might well be done. But you can't use the Triarch Stalker against characters, unless you have more than 10 wounds. So that's it. Basically, they were a lot better than what they were in this edition. They were one of the strongest units in the Codex now. And that's all I got. So I will catch you all again in the next video. And I hope this helped you out.